Uh, hello, my name is Tony from Fusk. Um, and we're sitting here in Fusk Seafood Bar in Downings. Uh, a little seafood place just on the coast. We opened back in March last year, just at Easter. Uh, me and my partner, Lena, who's from uh, Sweden. And she, obviously, Fusk is uh, fish for in Swedish. Uh, we were always traveling a, a lot around the world and found that it, there was a lot of seafood places and all the coasts and everyone was going mad for their seafood. But uh, when we came back to Ireland, there wasn't really, there wasn't really that kind of offering or there wasn't the, the push to get just seafood on the menu. Uh, there was always putting meat and uh, bulking it out with that. So we decided that we were going to open a, a seafood place on the seafront uh, where it's going to sell just solely fish. Um, we're just situated right here next to the Harbour Bar in Downings. Uh, I grew up coming, spending my summers here in Downings, so I always had a connection to the area. And we were outside having a pint one night, and I looked across and seen the building, and it was like a light bulb went off, you know. We've just seen this little small building, we have about 20 seats, and we've turned it now into a seafood bar today. So most of our projects we try and source here in Donegal, uh, just on the pier, uh, a couple of hundred meters up the road, we get the local crab, which is McBride's crab. I, personally, I think it's probably the, it, it is the best crab in Europe, maybe the world, maybe I'm overstating that. Uh, it comes straight off the pier here and straight into us. And then in Mulroy Bay mussels, they're also growing just around the corner from us. Yeah, they've been going a long, long time as well. Um, and we get them delivered straight to the door as well. They come out of the water in the morning and they're straight on the menu for lunch and for dinner. Absolutely beautiful. Um, most of the fish that we get all comes from Killy Bags. And it's delivered here uh, on a daily basis as well. So we try and keep all our produce local. Um, a lot of our veg we'll try and get from local suppliers or people that have polytunnels in the area. So the menu changes quite regularly due to the, what we can get in on that morning. Um, and even in the evening, sometimes there's people out fishing in the boats and they'll be dropping some of the mackerel in. We've just got a load of mackerel there yesterday off someone that was out fishing. So that was on the menu yesterday and probably for lunch today as well. We never really see, seen it grow. We thought it was going to be, you know, come up, do a little bit of cooking. Do a lot of surfing, be all really nice, relaxed lifestyle. Well, actually, the whole thing kind of just took off after the first few months. We got a, a review in one of the newspapers in Northern Ireland, and then after that, it was just a snowball. We got into the top 100 in the McKenna's Guide. Um, we were just voted now for best pub food in the Food and Wine Awards, or shortlisted, top 10, which that alone for us was massive. Um, we won best newcomer there in the restaurant awards as well. So, you know, we, we really didn't expect they have that kind of success at all. And uh, just the other week we were in the uh, top, top 20 seafood places to eat in Ireland and Irish independent, you know. So for us, we're kind of just a little bit shell shocked, but um, long may it last, as always. Clientele base is definitely it's very, very mixed. So you get um, you get a lot of your tourists, American tourists, the European tourists. The European tourists really, really, obviously, really are crazy about their seafood, you know, and they just love this, the little quirkiness of the room and the fact that it's local Irish seafood. Because over in Europe, they're eating a lot of Irish products, you know, the crab and the lobster. Um, and they, they're crazy for them, the oysters, whereas maybe here as much, we don't really go as mad for our shellfish. Um, so the European tourists definitely take to it a, a lot quicker. Sometimes we have some of the holiday makers who are a bit weary, maybe don't eat as much fish. But um, I think when the produce is good, we don't really have to do much. And then people, when they taste it, they actually like, oh, hold on here. This is actually really, really good, you know, so it sort of brings people in to a place, oh, let's go and see what everyone's talking about. And then they come in and try something different, and then actually they're thinking, oh, this fish is actually, maybe I do eat fish, maybe I do like fish, you know. Um, so it definitely is turning some people more towards eating fish. And then obviously you get your fish lovers who are just out to have seafood and, and looking for a little bit different. As I said, the room's quite small, quite quirky. We have an open kitchen, so 
you see everything that goes on. So we definitely get a wide, wide base of clientele. Um, and I love seeing some of the kids come in. Uh, the kids, for some reason, love the muscles. I don't know if it's the opening the muscles or because the, they're so sweet, but, or maybe it's because of the beer we cook them in. <laughs> I, I don't know, but the kids seem to love the muscles. And you know, it's great seeing kids eat shellfish and eat fish, you know. And, um, that's a really good p part of the business when you're watching out over the kitchen, seeing the kids eat the fish. We just want to really solidify what we have, you know. I'm still in a very early stage of my career culinary-wise. Um, so we just want to try and get, you know, a good foundation here. And obviously consistency is key, so it's something we have to work on. Um, we, we were obviously improved the last of last year, but we just want to really work on being, getting a solid foundation, getting good consistency, and then you never know what's for around the corner, but that could be a long while down the road, yeah. Obviously, my partner and Lena went on a lot of travel. We travelled all over the world, South America, Australia, um, we were in Bali and all over. And the more we, places we travelled, we sort of found that we started to realise how lucky we are here to have Donegal on our doorstep. You know, it's one of the most beautiful scenery in the, in the world, I think. Um, so they have like a, a restaurant based in Donegal where, where we basically grew up. You know, it's one of the most amazing things we could have uh, looked for or wanted, to be honest.